Okay, here we have a short video on how to get a transfer function from a graph or how to draw a graph based on a transfer function. So the first thing we're going to look at here is how can we identify what we have. Uh, in this case, we have a graph, so we're looking for a transfer function. We can see that the line uh, or the response is climbing steadily and continuously and will do so until it reaches its limit, which means that it is an integrating process. Therefore, we know that the transfer function is going to follow the format of 1 over T1S. So our job is to find out what is T1. Uh, as we know from our notes, T1 is going to equal the time at which the output change is equal to the step change. Uh, in this case, our step change is 30%. So we're going to look for the time at which uh, this graph uh, makes 30%. So if we start at 50, we know adding 30 is 80. So if we go across from 80 to this point, oops, right here, that is our 30% uh, time on this slope. We can draw a line down to here, and then the space in between where we started and right here is going to be our T1 time. In this case, it's one square, two squares, three squares, at two minutes each. So three times two minutes is equal to six, and our transfer function will be one over six S. Pretty straightforward. Now let's see if we can do the same in a different question. Here we have a transfer function and no graph. So we are going to draw a graph based on the transfer function. Looking at the transfer function, we can see that it's minus 1 over 4.5s. Uh, this tells us that it's integrating based on its structure. And something unique to note here is that there's a negative 1 here. And what this tells us is that it is basically reverse acting. So if we have a 20% step up, our response is going to be down. So what we're looking for now is at what point in uh, uh, at four and a half minutes, we want to be 20% down. So let's find out where four and a half minutes is. One, two, three, four, and a half is right here. So somewhere on that long line and down 20%. So right there would be our, our mark. And from there, we can draw our slope line like so. And again, it's going down. Our step change is up, and that's due to this negative one. And that's how you do Well, I hope we got that. Good luck.